Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and those of you who are regular subscribers to my channel have uh, figured out that I have some kind of an attraction to pop can <laughs> pop can projects. I did the, uh, well we won't go into what I've done anyway. So recently um, uh, for my Mavic 2 uh, Zoom I decided I would uh, make a reflector behind the antennas so that I could uh, increase the range of the Mavic. And so uh, at first I thought, well, this is working pretty good, and it wasn't bad at all. I tested it uh, uh, from my house, and, and sure enough, uh, it beat out the $10 uh, Arizona, I mean, Amazon's Choice, <laughs> which I bought, I bought just so I could check them out. And they're only ten dollars. So, and then I, I checked out uh, the the long range over just over sagebrush, and uh, both the the both re reflectors uh, did well. In fact, uh, it went further than the batteries uh, could handle. So I had to turn around and come back. But then I wanted to try it in a uh, Wi-Fi infected area to see if I could beat out the uh, uh, Amazon's choice with mine and so that's what this video is about and uh, what what I did was I uh, flew from my house but I will pick up as I was coming up to the to the uh, golf course and uh, the Arizona uh, tin can is on the left and Amazon's choice uh, reflectors is on the right and I matched up the length of the video so it's not necessarily an actual uh, <laughs> what happened at the same time. It was two different flights. Anyway, so uh, at first as we get on to the um, over the golf course, uh, everything is working fine and uh, finally we get up to this point and the uh, the reflector for the uh, for my the Arizona pop can reflector started acting up at about 4,000 feet and uh, the Amazon's choice uh, in the video here is still chugging along uh, pretty nice and uh, so the I, I like the way this uh, drone and the controller work together because uh, they don't give up easy they keep trying to stay in touch with each other but you can see the one on the left using the uh, the uh, Arizona T reflector it seems to be having some trouble with the with the connection and you can see the houses along the side of the golf course there they all have Wi-Fi and uh, they're all <laughs> they're all putting out signals that are interfering and Amazon's choice uh, is beginning to break up as you can see right there and slowly they both are getting more and more interference from the from the uh, houses below so uh, I think probably the uh, the uh, Amazon's Choice ten dollar uh, reflector might win out over for poor Mr. Kent's little reflector made out of a pop can. Anyway, it's kind of a sad deal, but I'll just have to live with it and uh, face the truth. But uh, in a in an unpopulated area, it worked just as fine as Amazon's Choice. But as you can see here, it got to fifty four hundred feet and started losing signal right away, and. Uh, Oh, and the Amazon's choice at about 6,500 feet begins to have some troubles and the the controller and the drone are doing their very best to try to stay hooked up and of course I'm moving my antenna around trying to trying to get it lined up better and uh, just uh, I'm doing what I can and the drone is doing what it can the controller is doing what it can and uh, we're pretty much coming to a standstill and so uh, just a few more seconds here everything is going to to uh, say okay we're, we're gonna give up on this thing and so the uh, the Amazon's choice at 7300 feet uh, decides I think he's the one that decides first at 7372 um, he's gonna decide to uh, turn around and come back home right somewhere right about now somewhere right about now 
I've watched this thing so many times. I thought I was right about now. There we go. He decides that he's going to return home. And, of course, at 5,490 feet or something, the uh, the, the uh, tin can decided, all right, well, we'll, uh, we'll do the same thing. And so um, what you're looking at here is the first test between the two of them. Where I took off from my house on the right and flew down to the intersection down there on the left. And in that particular case, I've got a video. I'll put links to these. Uh, my tin can actually did beat him by a few hundred feet. But you'll notice I was going over a field uh, and just a few houses there at the beginning. So there wasn't a continuous Wi-Fi interference. But the test that we just watched is totally different because uh, I took off from my house and I went over the golf course and there's interference uh, across the street from where I took off. There's uh, interference at the golf course and uh, uh, all along the golf course. That's not an exact route. That's just a straight line. So anyway, I'm going to have to give in and admit that my homemade uh, reflector <laughs> uh, doesn't compare under all circumstances to the uh, Amazon's Choice reflector. Uh, and uh, by the way, these are, uh, uh, they're not really boosters, they're uh, extenders because they reflect the, uh, they reflect the, the radiation further out. So, uh, uh, another one of my pop can failures, I guess. But I want to thank you for watching and God bless.